This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Are you ready to hunt for some Easter eggs? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walnut are here with another game called Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Treasure Hunt. Look, here we are at Acme Uni University. Buster Bunny and his friends are cleaning up a room in the warehouse. A single piece of paper flutters to their feet. Randomly. Scribbled on the paper is what seems to be a very old map. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Give it to me, Buster. I'll figure it out. Well, what do you know? Uh, what do you know? It's a treasure map. Give it back, Montana Max. No way. I'm just gonna keep changing all their voices. You're rotten apple, Montana Max. Montana Max gets Dr. Gene Splash to help him search for the treasure. Yeah, I was trying to remember the name of that scientist from the the first episode. Dizzy Devil, Plucky Duck, Calamity Coyote, and Hampton are brainwashed by the mad scientist. Then Montana Max and his henchmen kidnap Babs Bunny, Fifi, and Shirley the Loon. Buster Bunny, Buster Bunny, stay out of my treasure hunt. You're a dirty rat, Montana Max. Didn't you just say that earlier? Buster Bunny has to rescue Babs Bunny and his friends. Then he's off to search for the treasure and stop Montana Max. Yeah, and that's the, the plot for the game. So let's get started. So yeah, this is the Sega Genesis game that they made in vain to Buster Bust Loose. Instead, they did the treasure loot. Uh, hunt game instead, so it plays a little bit different from previous, so... Okay, uh, jump sliding... Gotcha, okay. Yeah, pretty straightforward, no difficulty settings or anything like that, so... Um, though we do have a password system, we want to come back later, so... Let's start the game. I'm actually not familiar with this game as much. I did have a Sega, but I had very few games for my Sega. I had, like... I had, like, Fantasy Star 2... 3... Uh, but anyway, does this game remind you of something? How about this? Or this! Yeah, this is like very Sonic inspired. I think they did that on purpose for the Sega version. Uh, be just because it, you know, blast processing and all that. Gotta love the beeps and boops of this game. Um, and I love the animation on a, uh, uh, Buster running and stuff like that. Very nice detail. I mean, I still like the Su Super Nintendo game uh, a bit better, but I could see the Sega Genesis having its own charm to it. And at least it's not the exact same game. You'd be surprised at me game series when they when they made a um, uh, a game for the same a different console they just basically just called it the same thing and just and it just had a different coat of paint but now this is a completely different plot you know different animation look at that you know uh, uh, yeah Buster has like animations for about falling off you know ducking looking up stuff like that jumping around and all that so yeah I like it oh god I have an invincibility uh, thing of some sort the controls on this are uh, okay. There is some little weirdness to the the feeling of it, but it's st definitely better than a lot of other games for sure. I don't like how it's a sped up version of the uh, uh, running theme or the main theme or whatever. Oh, probably could have a. Uh, oh, and we hit a can. Yeah, the, this these this level has like a bunch of stuff that prevents you from running fast, kind of like in Sonic the Hedgehog, you know. But every time I end the level, we have Go Go Dodo, who takes us, breaks the fourth wall, and goes to another dimension, and gets us out of there. So, yeah, put on that sneer, like I'm better than you. Yeah, what's up, Doc? But uh, yeah, those are all our points and everything like that. And yeah, you can go to different levels, and you can redo levels if you want to. I guess maybe to build up your lives and, and easier levels or something like that. But yeah, you can just go to different levels and choose. So yeah, definitely it's a, di a completely different beast from the uh, Super Nintendo version of it. Oh yeah, there's a if you press the B button, you can slide. So it's a way for you to like get your speed and kick at the enemies when they. Uh... Oh well, yeah. Unfortunately, like Sonic the Hedgehog, they find plenty of ways to like ruin your momentum and ruin your fun you know I know that's why I didn't like about Sonic the Hedgehog is that it tries to be fast and then it does everything in its power to make sure you don't run fast you're like okay what's the point then 
Yeah, Sonic games have never been my favorite. I mean, I did like uh, 2, like a lot of people did, um, and uh, 3 has some charm to me, but overall, I've never been the biggest fan of those series, so, because they can just never, I don't know, I, I, I feel like they can never get it down right, you know? Like, there's just something missing every time you play it. Okay, I guess I'm done with that. I, I want to take advantage of the invincibility I have here, so, so I can run through everyone. Yep. Thanks, game. Well, that is an obstacle, so... No. Yeah, some of these levels you can go through them pretty quickly. I assume there's a reason to, like... Remember, I didn't actually grow up with this game, so I'm actually... This is like... A, I play-tested this before, just to get the gist of how the game ran before I started it. I didn't start it cold turkey. But I don't know, like, if I need to go through levels like, and find stuff in the level, like treasure, or if I can just zoom through the level, like Sonic style, or do I need to collect, you know, Chaos Emeralds or something like that? But I don't want this theme to the video. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what the theme's actually called in the actual cartoons. Oh, it's a booster. Okay. So let's try doing this the other way. So. Too bad you can't uh, down. Actually, can you down and do anything? No, you can jump, but. You can't down and dash like Sonic. Sorry, this, this level design is clearly inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog. That is what this is designed as. But I guess they were trying to appeal to that crowd. They're like, oh, hey, you like Sonic the Hedgehog? We got Tiny Toons. He's not as cool, but uh, we could try to be cool. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't want this whole game to be about me about, like, crapping over Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, so. Because there's a lot of fans of, of that franchise out there. Oh, boy. Just look at the internet, man. But, uh, but this, this, these games are meant to just... Enjoy Tiny Toons as well as play something for Easter because they have rabbits in them. I thought about playing like um, uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit, but uh, getting that to work was a little weird, so I decided to skip it. Uh, that would have been interesting to play, but but I'd have to use DOS Box and all this other stuff, and I, I wasn't really in the mood to mess with that before recording, so not that that hard. There's plenty of websites that uh, make it easier to uh, uh, use DOS Box nowadays instead of having to press. CD backslash colon, you know, uh, in the, the game file or whatever, but oh, uh, okay, we didn't hit the level. Let's see, perhaps we need to go down. Let's see if there's anything up there. Oh, there you are, Dodo. Go, go, Dodo. Take me to the fourth dimension where Mitzi Pitlick lives, or Mitzi Mitz Spitlick, or something like that. Anyway. There's a cartoon Superman that explains how to pronounce his name. Oh, I'm going through these a lot easier than I did in the uh, Nintendo versions of the games. Although I'm probably missing like a ton of things, but I wonder if the stars mean difficulty. Like the yellow stars are easy levels. Oh, or bosses. This isn't going on. This isn't the Dizzy Devil I know and love. Ooga Ooga. Ha ha, he's under my control. Drats. Okay, I guess we have to, ah, okay. I guess we have to fight Gene Splicer. I assume we have to avoid Dizzy and jump on Splicer's head. Yeah. So I guess reds are uh, red is um, boss levels. Can't believe we lost all those lives already. Or lost those hits already. Is it really this easy? I mean, I got hit twice, but you know what I mean. No, no, no. I am almost dead. So. I guess you, the, the difficulty is trying to hit, oh, okay, so you can't, it's not like that one level where, he, uh, one game where he could, he could jump into your attack sphere, you have to actually jump on him, legit, so. Well, uh, overall, the Sega Genesis version is a little bit easier, because you don't have to redo the whole stage to get back to the boss, you just, the boss is a stage, all on its own, although apparently Dizzy just wanted to leave the screen, he's like, my plant needs me. So long, you know. Looks like the AI isn't targeted to me specifically. It just it just has a pattern that you have to wait for. For some reason, Buster looks a little dumpy in this version of the game. Probably shouldn't have even lost once, but yeah. And he's running up. Oh, we saved Dizzy, at least. Dizzy brainwashed by mad scientist. Dizzy, okay now. Dizzy, thank Buster Bunny. You're welcome, Dizzy Devil. I hope no one else runs in that mad scientist. Oh, you know, 
what they say about uh, the future or whatever. I don't know. You know we're going to run into him again. But anyway, let's continue on. So he saved one of our friends, so... Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised this game's a little bit easier. Not that the Super Nintendo game was hard. Um, it's just this is actually quite a bit easier. Yeah, it's a unique animation from climbing a rope, too, so... Sorry, I'm always... Uh, oh, I like the... Uh, he uses uh, uh, ears to... Uh, uh, go down the uh, go down the line there or whatever. So, ooh, those insta kill you. I do like the way he dies though, just like uh, you know, his typical cartoony fashion. So, okay, so maybe the levels will start getting a little bit more difficult. Just we're, we're taking the training wheels off, sir. Time to go in hard and, and hard and fast. Uh, whoa, that's a major. Uh, that was a major thing, wasn't it? The the. Um, not Tasmanian, what was I thinking of? Uh, uh, Wolverine or something like that, probably. At least we can just jump. What the heck is that thing? I don't... Actually, maybe they seem familiar? Oh, no, the... Uh, the that uh, Wolverine or whatever, that's familiar. I, I don't remember which episode or cartoon it was from, but yeah, I do recognize him. I think it was a Halloween episode, if I recall. No, well, okay. Let me see. I'm trying to remember now. Uh, that guy, the guy with the fruit, I'm trying to remember what episode he's from. He might be from a special, because he does look familiar. But I don't remember what, though. Yeah, like the last episode, I said I don't remember, because it had been like 20, over 25 years or something like that since I last seen it. Ooh, okay, I didn't expect that. It had been like over 25 years since I'd seen uh, uh, the, a, a Looney Tunes cartoon, so, or a Tiny Tunes version. I had seen the Looney Tunes cartoons before that. Because they still rerun them on TV, but you almost never see reruns of Tiny Tunes. You have to like, if you want to watch them, you either have to like go to retro TV websites or uh, buy the DVDs. Which is weird how some shows just kind of, despite them being very popular shows at the time, at least for, I, I know a lot of kids that watched it too, uh, to just, just disappearing in obscurity outside of like maybe being Animaniacs, and even then. The only reason people talk about it now is because they read... Re, uh, rebooted the series, which I don't even, I still haven't watched any of the episodes, even between the two episodes we recorded, you think I would have watched a whole franchise by then, but, uh, whoops, didn't mean to fall down, actually, oh, god, no, buster, all right, try it again, I have to, at least we got a couple lives left, but, okay, so now the game's starting to get a little challenging, maybe, although I'm just not very good at platformers, apparently. Yeah, another level where you can't really take advantage of Buster's speed. You have to, like, you know, slow down and pace yourself out. At least with Tiny Toons, I played games where you didn't have to do that before, so I can accept that. But when it was Sonic, it was almost just like a slap in the face every time it happened. You're like, dude, we're supposed to be going fast. The first levels told us that. Why did you Why did you lie to us? Sorry, I'm, I'm going to stop making, ragging on Sonic now. People don't want to hear me ragging on their favorite games. Actually, I don't mind if people rag on my favorite games. Most of the time, most of the games I like deserve to be ragged on because of a, either gameplay or difficulty or entertainment or whatever. So, so, it's because I'm an adult. I can handle criticism on my favorite things. You know? You'd be surprised how many people just like just tur do not turn the other cheek and just like wish wish harm upon you for making fun of your like favorite thing. I'm like, geez, I think we have some emotional issues here. But anyway, we're here, we're here to play uh, uh, Tiny Toons, so no more talking about stuff like that, crazy stuff like that. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. I I still like the Super Nintendo one better, but uh, but uh, yeah, I I could see I could definitely see uh, some benefits of having this one over the other, for example. Whoa! Yeah. Well, then. yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of staying in the uh, the air because that saves me from death. You know. Seems like a the song. Seems like a jolly, jolly tune through the woods, you know, over the hills and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. I'm still trying to remember the episode. I think, I think Buster was in it. I think Hampton was in it. And Plucky. Or was Buster in that? No, I think it was just Plucky and uh, Hampton actually when they dealt with the Wolverine. Because there were some episodes that were just placated to the side characters. Not Buster and Babs weren't in every episode. Sometimes it was just a Plucky and Hampton episode. Or it was a side character or whatever. Although, usually they did that near the end of the series. They started doing the... Kind of like with Simpsons, where they would start having whole episodes based off side characters instead of the main characters. 
which is probably why Simpsons isn't as good as it used to be. Sorry, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here, but uh, um, let's just enjoy the game. Sorry, sometimes my mind goes to places like that. When uh, when I have a, a, a theme going on or a mood, I'll, I'll stick with it, even though the, the, the theme of the game does not relegate to that conversation. So I want these to be enjoyed by everyone. So you know, watch me lose multiple times to this. I could probably jump through this really quickly, but now it's a uh, let's slide. Seems like the only really major challenge other than the obvious stuff is uh, finding Go-Go when you get to the end because depending on what plane he's on or what location he's at, you might be able to, you might not hit him the first time, kind of like in that level a couple episodes, or levels back. I'm still trying to remember that that creature. I think he was from a special because he seems too, too designed. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but... Maybe after this, maybe I will uh, watch an episode of uh, find an old retro website just to find a uh, try out, uh, watch some old episodes, see if I recall most of it. Because like I said uh, in the episode ago or two or whatever, I talked about like remembering a lot of the plucky episodes uh, and the special episodes, like the the musical episode. Although there's, well, I won't go into it, but let's just say there's a couple of reasons why people remember the musical episode. But I won't talk about that. In good company. Uh, did we do Castlevania? Your your balls, your your swinging balls in the uh, the clock tower level want 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 to want to be back. You know? Not that that's the most original thing. It's just it's kind of funny when you see mechanics from other games just pop up randomly. Although there was a there was a Castlevania game for the Genesis called Bloodlines, I think it was. I'll definitely have to play that when uh when Halloween comes around. Yeah, there's quite a few games I missed, but I knew I wasn't gonna get all of them because I wanted to save some games for next year or at least save the the big titles for my weekly playthroughs, stuff like that. So anyway, let's keep going through the woods. Where are we now? What the That music sounded familiar with the the, the the tune of it or whatever. I wonder if that thing oh it's a rake. <laughs> so if I hit it, it slaps me in the face. I almost want to show it off just to just to, you know, let's uh, let's see what it does. <laughs> oh it just stops you. It's just there for fun. Okay, nice. I, I do like... I don't mind some obstacles if they're entertaining obstacles. Oh, I didn't know you could uh, slide off the... Uh, yeah, Buster has like a little slide thing. Oh, that's cool. Nice little detail there. Oh, spikes coming out of the ground. Uh-oh. I don't want to live in this world if spikes randomly come out of the ground. That's crazy. Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect this. Oh. Wait, can you fall down your backs or something like that? Maybe. I've always wanted to just like mess around and see like where Oh, there's a secret. Oh we got oh we got an extra life, huh? I guess there's reasons to uh, explore um, an area past a point. Just to see if you can find extra lives, so I guess maybe the reason you might want to play old levels again is to uh, maybe if you find a... Uh, uh, Easy lives or something like that, or play like the first levels again or something like that. Yep. Yep. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. No. Can I actually jump? Oh. I probably could have if I'd done it right, but the water had the, like the weird kind of like slow you down momentum thing going on. Yep. No Tasmania double for me. Or Wolverine or whatever. I feel like that. I feel like that those blue guys are from like the Halloween special or something like that, just because. Or there were some episodes of Tiny Tunes that were very very well uh, drawn um, but I'm just trying to remember I think and not every character in this is from a cartoon it could be just the Konami taking liberties to have enemies on the screen so that you could actually have something to interact with you know because obviously not many people would probably want to attack their uh, attack friends of the show you know like Hampton you wouldn't want to have him as an uh, enemy character and hitting him or whatever Let's see what's down here you tricked me game there was only a Wolverine inside. Not the Wolverine, just a Wolverine. Yeah. We're almost at the end of the level. Oh, dang it. Nuts. Nuts. Carrots. Whatever. Oh, oh. so much for progress, right? I was about to say, let's just, let's just jump. I wonder how far you can get if you just, oh, okay. Yeah, you can't really... 
Yeah, because Buster is so weak. He's so weak. He's a girly man. Oh, I could have jumped. I could have easily made that. I had the momentum, but I, I just choose, chose not to uh, take it. Yeah, I'm gonna fall off. Whoa, whoa! Nope, no falling off for me. Need a life, uh, extra life, or extra bit of health. But I don't know where to where to go. I don't know where to go, man. To get help? I mean, I know where to go, left or right, you know. But, uh, I always keep thinking if I jump on him at the wrong time, he's going to, uh, hit me with that, that, like, um, apple or rotten apple or tomato. I think it's a tomato in this case. Hit me with the tomato and then I'll, uh, you know, die. And, you know, that would, that would not be cool. I would not want to die. I don't think anyone wants to die. Yep. Oh, I guess I, I guess, I guess I disappeared. Oh, there we go. I guess I disappeared out of that guy's range. I thought that tomato would hit me. But I guess I moved the screen enough to uh, make it disappear into the others of time. I'm not doing a very good job collecting all the... What do the... I guess collecting the bonuses are there just to get points, I guess. I always kept thinking that maybe they were like something you could... Uh, that uh, way, to, way to uh tease this game where it could just end up immediately if you could get over there, but nope. Well, it kind of looks like you could... Well, we have to go down the tree and up the tree. Oh. Where does this take us into? Oh. Okay. You just teased this game. How dare you. I do not like you anymore. No. Just... Yeah, the whole... So we know where the exit is. We just have to get to it. So we have to go all the way around. All the way around town. Unless there is a way to get them that early. Like, if you have a, an ability or know the trick, but I don't know the trick. Oh, we actually get some running sections for a second. And then they're probably gone. Oh, what is that, actually? I got a bell? Okay. So I guess I want to go over this way just to try and get to Go-Go. Oh, nope. Okay. How about the... But falling on that ball and chain. Kunai o chain. Aw. Kunai o chain. Yeah, does anyone remember that? Although that's the only season I watched. I didn't watch much of that show after a point. I mean, it's probably a fine show, but sh shown in anime and stuff like that, or shown in cartoons, the ones that like last forever, I just usually can't watch for very long because I'm like, all right, I'm done. Is there a way to actually get up there? Hmm. I wonder now. Although usually you need to like get a pretty good running start to a. Uh... Yeah, no way. Was there? Oh no! Oh, I. Dang it! All right, let's keep this. Let's just keep going forward. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a uh, a way to get to go go or no. Yep, let's go this way then. We've been shown the wrong way. We must now go to the right way. Nope. No way, bird. You should not woo. You should not win today. Oh, I actually didn't expect me. I really did not expect to make that jump, oddly enough. I don't know why I just didn't anticipate Buster's jumping though, huh? I guess I just gotta, re I just gotta remember that Buster can jump though. Huh? I wonder in this case, I wonder if we hit Go-Go by looping the screen or something like that is how we're going to get to him or something. Oh, whoa. Okay. Can they actually hit you? I guess they can if I jump. Ah. Oh, come on, man. You didn't give me much invincibility spheres there. I immediately hit it, like, again and, and lost that extra life or bit of health and then lost another bit of health. Like, like come on, man. Okay, I was about to say, I don't think I should go forward. I need to find a way to get Go Go on the other side, though. No. Oh, I guess you can't, huh? That just makes you feel like it shouldn't, we shouldn't have been able to get to him, you know what I mean? Not sure how I like, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of Leaps of Logic or Leaps of Faith. 
Leaps of Faith are in a game where, um, for those of you who are curious, Leaps of Faith are in a game where you don't know if that's where you need to go to next, but you jump to see if that's the case. Oh, should I go that way? What's over the other way? Oh, no, I guess I... Okay, I do have to go that way. I wasn't sure. Now, do I actually want to go through this? Maybe? Did I want that to happen? No! Did I just reset? That can't be right, can it? Uh, did I? Oh, no. Huh. So basically, ah, oh, are you kidding me? I had to redo this? Oh, I do not like that at all. I know this is old, old-timey game type, so that kind of makes sense. The game will trick you into redoing a level or something like that, but I do not like the team I am. I think it's been forever since I've played games like this, so I can't really... Okay, so don't want to fall down into the thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, cool, I think. That's what I wanted to do, right? Yes, all right. Probably could have uh, jumped on. I assume I want to go in that. Hey, don't don't trick me now. Uh oh, don't don't touch don't touch those randomly spoke floating spiky. You know. Oh, what did that? Probably, that probably would have hit me a bit. As long as I don't uh, go backwards or whatever or. Maybe not. Let's see what this takes us. Okay, I think we're... We can't be that far from Go Go Do, are we? Yeah, definitely can't make the jump up there. Oh, there he is. Haha, -ha, we did it. Oh, come on. No, we're, we're so close! It's so satisfying when you beat a level. Especially one that, like, you know, makes you... That kind of, that old design kind of reminds me of old games. Like, like uh, a lot of games for the MS-DOS, like, were, um, like, Captain Commander and stuff like that required you to, like, go through a whole... Instead of just left or right, you actually had to explore the whole level to get to the end by going all over the place. I don't know if I'm a... Oh, Calamity Coyote. Yeah, now I finally found out... remembered what his name was because the game told me what Calamity Coyote's name was. Yeah, I guess he's throwing bombs at me, and then I have to hit Gene Splicer um, while jumping up. Well, that, that, that's actually really easy. Like, that was super easy. Oh, he's not done. Oh. Okay. Okay, we were just waiting for the final thing. Wow, that was really easy. That kind of surprised me how easy that was. Oh, sorry, Calamity. Yeah, he's he's like um, Wily Coyote. Super genius. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, Calamity Coyote, are you okay? Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, he can't talk, actually. Actually, technically, Wily Coyote originally couldn't talk, but then at some point they decided to make him talk for some reason, which fans of the cartoon tend to not like talky Wily Coyote. Um, I'm kind of in a mixed bag, depending on the situation, so. Can't ever, can't you hear me? Ah, never mind. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, people don't know he can't actually talk. He's mute. At least, as far as I'm aware of, he never, ever talks in the show. So I think, I assumed he was mute. Uh, so, well, that's, we've found quite a bit of treasure by saving two of our friends. But what's further on in the journey? Well, I won't know for now, but if you ever, if you ever, if anyone's curious about me playing further, I'll uh, come back to this at a later date. But for now, for Easter Sunday, we'll end it here with my Tiny Toon Adventures playthrough all. Hope you enjoyed the games. If you watched, play all of them. If you only chose to watch this one, I hope you enjoyed what you saw there. Uh, you know, if you like what I do, just stick around the channel. If not, i glad you at least stopped by and watched till the end of a video. So you know how often uh, my ratio for people clicking through my videos is like 10% or something like that. So it's always uh, nice to see someone actually watching the whole video if they decide to do it. Um, and if you did, I you win a gold star, just like the one I'm standing on. By the way, I hope your Sunday is great. Uh, if you're watching this on Sunday or Easter Sunday, if not another day, then I hope that, in, that day is well. So... Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next game.